Hey there, nature lover. In today's video, you're going to learn how to sketch one of my favorite kinds of animals, beetles. Beetles comprise the most numerous and diverse order of animals in the world. Hi, in case we haven't met, I'm Christine Elder. I'm a naturalist, educator, and visual artist. And my motto is learn to sketch while sketching to learn. And I believe that if you slow down and really take the time to observe nature and sketch it, you'll have a greater understanding and empathy for everything in the natural world that you observe. So today I'm going to teach you a little bit about beetles and then we're going to go step by step in drawing one of my favorite and most fascinating beetles in the world, the rhinoceros beetle. Okay, so let's get started. Today I'm demonstrating how to sketch the rhinoceros beetle and they're called the rhinoceros beetle for a couple of reasons, one of which is because they're said to be as strong as a rhinoceros. They're said to be the strongest animal for their size in the world. Uh, they can lift up to 850 times their weight and they use that strength to battle other uh, beetles um, and also to dig into the leaf litter uh, to hide and also to feed. Another reason they're called rhinoceros beetles is because they have uh, giant horns like a rhinoceros that are on their head and their thorax and they can have different numbers of horns and different sizes of horns as well. And there's over 300 species of rhinoceros beetles throughout the world, uh, but the largest ones uh, live in the tropics. Other names for these guys include the elephant beetle, the atlas beetle, Hercules, Goliath, and ox beetles. All of those names uh, indicating just how big and strong they are. They don't bite or sting. Uh, they are only very gentle vegetarians and are actually kept as pets in uh, many areas of the world. There are more species of beetles than any other kind of insect in the world. In fact, there might be as many as 400,000 species of beetles. And that comprises about 25% of all known animal life forms. As insects, they share all of the same characteristics that insects do. So they have a segmented body, and that body is made up of a hard um, out exterior exoskeleton. They have three general parts to their body, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. On their head, they have a pair of eyes and uh, one pair of antennae. And they have uh, three pairs of legs attached to their thorax and those uh, legs are uh, jointed. They have, uh, generally insects have two pairs of wings. Although in the beetles, the, um, the first pair of wings is hardened into the covering that we see here. Uh, and those are actually called elytra. And when the beetle flies, they raise those elytra out of the way to allow for the membranous wings uh, to be used. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do with this uh, beetle is to draw a plumb line down the center uh, indicating its length. And then I'm going to show the length of the uh, horn there and then the head and thorax and abdomen. And then I'm going to uh, be very light and loose, just tickling the paper very lightly, drawing in those major shapes as lightly as I can. Uh, with as little erasing as I can. So that's just going to give me a template to start with. Then I'm going to start drawing the uh, horns. This one's got a pair of horns on the left and the right side of the uh, thorax. And then it's got another pair of horns right in the middle. This top horn, which you can't see very well, and then the longer one, uh, which has kind of a fork or like an antler at the end. Uh, then just going to firm up those lines with the thorax. Do a little tiny bit of racing in the beginning. Add that scutellum, which is that triangular plate in the center. It's a hard part of the exoskeleton that's unique to beetles. And then I'm going to be looking at the left side. I'm going to draw the left side of this beetle first and then later on the right. So we're going to get this purple elytra, which is the hardened forewing drawn first. 
just seeing its length and its width, measuring those, and uh, kind of looking there at the abdomen, fixing it a little bit. So that's why I draw very lightly just to, uh, so I can easily uh, modify. So I'm uh, ground truthing that, making sure I had that length and width right. Now I'm gonna start looking at the wing. So it's got a, a pair of these golden wings that it actually flies with. So it raises those purple elytra out of the way and flies with the golden wings. And so I'm measuring the, the length and the width of that again with my pencil, staying pretty light and loose at first and then going a little bit harder as I, as I like the lines. And then I'm going to start looking at those veins. So all insects have uh, these lines in their wings called veins, and the veins form areas called cells. And luckily for us, uh, beetles have a pretty simple uh, venation in their wings, so there's not a lot of lines to uh, draw. So I've got those blocked in, and then I'm going to darken those a bit as I'm a little bit more, more confident about those. Okay, then I'm going to look at those legs. I've got three pairs of legs, the fore legs, the mid legs, and the hind legs. And as usual, I'm going to measure the length and the width and kind of the angle of them, and then adding each part of the leg. Now it's kind of hard to see at this size uh, all the parts of those legs, but Basically, insects have uh, jointed legs, and each joint does have a name and a particular shape and even a particular number of joints, depending on the type of insect. And those can be uh, important and useful characteristics when you're identifying an insect. But uh, at this level, we're just basically trying to get their length and their width and a little bit of those, those interesting spines they have on them. Looking at the length and the width of the, the hind leg now. Then I'm remembering that I wanted to add the eyes on. You can barely see the eyes or the head of this beetle, but they're kind of tucked under. So now I'm going to do the right side of the beetle and kind of the same process and uh, using my, my left finger to kind of keep track of where I'm at to help me stay on track and remember what I'm drawing, pointing, length and width of everything. And I just want you to think about uh, that even though this is a, a symmetrical animal with uh, pretty similar sides on the left and the right, just like in human faces, we are, we are unique and different on each side. So don't be worried about trying to get it exact. In fact, it's good to give your beetle a little bit of personality by having them be a little bit different. And again, remembering that this is a, a what we call the pinned museum specimen. So uh, he's, he or, well, it is a he because it's got big horns, but so um, that he has been pinned like this to show all the parts of the anatomy. And so generally they wouldn't be exactly symmetrical like this. And they would only look like this with the wings outstretched um, and the elytra up uh, when they're flying. So again, now finished the uh, wing and now working on those legs. I'd say the legs are probably the most challenging part to get correct and if you really wanted to do a correct anatomical illustration of these guys you'd want to be looking at them through a dissecting scope or with a magnifying lens to really see the number of those segments and the shape of the claws and the shape of those spines which can be very unique to each species but again here we're just trying to get the the basic sizes and shapes to to practice and again the longer we look at uh, an organism we're drawing like this beetle, the more we'll, we'll learn about it and the more we'll learn what to notice uh, the next time we draw it. Working a little bit more on those horns, trying to get those 
symmetrical, just darkening up some lines, the scutellum. Then the abdomen has some segments there, so I'm adding those. So insects do have a segmented body, so adding those segments there. And then just going to firm up all my lines, meaning just trace over the lines that I liked the best to really finish this guy up. Double checking all of my lines and proportions. Beetles are such a fascinating group of insects and they're just really interesting to draw too. They're so variable among all the species. So it's really fun and a learning experience to draw them. And uh, I hope you've learned a bit in this tutorial and I hope you'll uh, try this uh, again on your own sometime. So if you liked this short tutorial on beetles, you can head on over to my website and learn a lot more about beetles and get a more in-depth tutorial and also download the uh, beetle sketching cheat sheet that we used in the video. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye.